Hi everyone, today's video is supposed to be about the New Skin Better Science Bio Rewind Supplement, but when I started putting this video together, I realized this video is really going to be a deep dive into the science of glycation and glycation end products and how to minimize glycation end products through lifestyle and diet. So it's gonna be an all-encompassing video on glycation. If you find this interesting, please share with a friend who might also find it interesting. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I know there's been a lot of talk on social media about glycation and a lot of people have explained it in many different ways. What I'll do is I'll explain it in a broad sense, which I'm sure you've heard on other channels, and then I'll go a little bit deeper into the cellular level for the more nerdy biochemistry types. And then we'll come out of the deep and go back into how we can change our lives and our lifestyles to reduce uh, glycation and these advanced aging glycation products. Advanced glycation end products are something that is created by the process of glycation. And basically this affects our entire body. It's not just a skin concern. Glycation occurs when sugars bind to proteins, lipids, or DNA within the body, within the bloodstream, within the tissues and create these advanced glycation end products. This process happens naturally, but some stressors and diets can accelerate the process. In the skin, advanced glycation end products or AGEs bind to collagen and elastin and make it stiff and brittle and more prone to breaking down. So side note, when I talk about Elastin's Trihex technology and I talk about how this technology clears out old collagen and Elastin that isn't functional, this would be an example of dysfunctional collagen. It's collagen that's brittle and it's stiff and it's not doing its flexible, you know, its flexible action, it actually will break. So that can lead to fine lines, skin sagging, and uneven skin tone, or a sallow colored skin. Now here we get a little bit nerdy, so if you're not interested, you can fast forward. Now getting deeper into the biology of it on a cellular level, the AGEs bind cell receptors called RAGE, or R-A-G-E, which simply stands for receptor for AGEs. Once the AGE binds the receptor for the AGE, that triggers pathways to turn on in the cell that cause inflammation, oxidative stress, and cell damage. In a way, you can think of it as caramelizing your skin from within. So in the skin, these processes that cause this stress can also irritate melanocytes, which can lead to hyperpigmentation. Now, this process of advanced glycation and products and glycation is not just in the skin, although in the skin it does give a very specific appearance. When someone has a lot of glycation in their skin, you can actually visually tell. The wrinkles look different from just regular aging. People who have a lot of glycation in their skin, other than having sallow skin, have very deep wrinkles. It's a very specific appearance of wrinkles versus uh, someone who's just got the normal glycation happening over time. For example, when you look at people who smoke and they develop the smoker's lines, that is also from glycation because smoke causes oxidative stress. And so that they're deeper wrinkles. But glycation and advanced glycation end products don't just affect the skin. They affect our entire body. They're implicated in many chronic diseases, diseases that are exacerbated by inflammation renal failure, heart disease, even Alzheimer's disease. Diabetics have a lot more glycation because they tend to have higher sugar levels in their blood at all times. And the big problem is once AGEs are formed, they're extremely difficult to get rid of. So the best way to not have AGEs and not have high glycation in your body and your skin is prevention. AGEs are extremely difficult to reverse. It is possible to an extent, but the best we can do is prevention. So as we get into prevention, I'll talk about what causes AGEs in terms of lifestyle and diet so you can have a better understanding and you can start preventing them as early as after this video. So diet obviously is a major factor because we're talking about sugars binding proteins, lipids, and DNA. So these sugars are usually sweets, sodas, 
unrefined carbs and the sugar content in your diet is really the key here. So if you eat high sugar foods like sodas and sweets, will definitely up glycation, as well as pastas, white bread, they will also fuel glycation. And in this way, we're consuming foods that create the advanced glycation end products inside our bodies. But another way to uh, speed up glycation is to consume products that have already pre-made AGEs. And these tend to come from foods that are cooked at very high temperatures, meats that are grilled, because because the high temperature process of cooking cre pre-created these AGEs that we're now going to ingest. Now in our environment, UV radiation, pollution, smoking can all accelerate glycation due to oxidative stress. That's why so much skincare is focused on antioxidants to combat the oxidative stress because the combination of AGEs and oxidative stress together accelerates the destruction of our collagen and our elastin in our skin and damages our, t our internal tissues and leads to chronic disease. An example of that would be people who've had extensive sun exposure throughout their lives and they have very leathery thick skin that is a combination of extrinsic oxidative stress from uv radiation and age products in the skin just accelerating catapulting aging and making the skin look much older than it actually is and as if that's not enough a lifestyle also plays a part so chronic stress, insufficient sleep, conditions like diabetes with elevated blood sugars all ramp up the production of AGEs. And studies show that glycated collagen in healthy individuals builds up at a rate of approximately 3.7% per year. And of course, even faster in diabetics or people who have a very sugary diet. So in order to reduce AGEs, you have some idea now of how you can alter your lifestyle or your diet to slow down the production of AGEs. And now let's move into possibly reversing AGEs so that we can improve our skin, improve our health, improve our organs, diminish inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. And this is where rosmarinic acid comes in. This is a polyphenol derived from plants, specifically the rosemary plant. And it has been researched extensively, not only for the skin, but also for different conditions in the body. In the brain, it's been shown to have anxiolytic and antidepressant qualities. It's also been found to be neuroprotective in protecting brain cells from neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease. It's been shown to possibly improve sleep, reduce tumor growth in cancer patients, and it's been shown to improve insulin sensitivity for better blood sugar control. In the skin, obviously, it can help reverse glycation end products and help restore healthy collagen and elastin. And again, the Trihex technology and the regenerative skin complex in elastin helps clean out that damaged collagen and helps boost the production of new collagen. So that's a very synergistic product. And I actually have made a video on the brand new second generation Trihex technology, which is phenomenal. The first one was amazing. This one's even better. And I will link that video down below if you're interested. Now that you understand what rosmarinic acid does, you might be interested in a rosmarinic acid supplement, which you can buy at health food stores or online. So now let's dive into the Bio Rewind product and we'll talk about the research, the formulation and how to use it.